Well, good morning, church. Good morning, good morning. Good morning Facebook. Good morning, YouTube. You know what? I'm glad the Lord Jesus Christ not only saves us, but he heals us. Amen. You know, God healed this old man. I feel good. I mean, you know, you know, you don't know how good it is to feel good till you feel bad for a week or so. <laughs> but I'm good. Praise God. 21, Matthew. We start verse 23, reading for today. 21, Matthew. And when he was come unto the temple, that was a religious meeting place, temple. Reading for today. The chief priest and the elders of the people came unto him as he was teaching and said, Now you got to watch out for these chief priests. You got to watch out for religious leaders because most of the time they're Pharisees and phonies. And they'll take you to hell in a handbasket fast. By what authority? Now don't forget that word. Uh, the word authority is very important. Man always rule. Mankind or the earth rules by authority and God rules by authority. Now whose authority is supreme? Man's or God's? God's authority. Man can't do nothing God don't allow him to do. Now, he's given authority. He's given authority to officials and government and, and all of that. He's given authority to, to the husband and the family. He's given authority to the pastor and the church. He's given authority uh, uh, to the president of a corporation that legally uh, you got a boss. You got to have a boss. You got to have authority. All authority is of God. Don't forget that. And he is final authority. What authority does thou these things? And who gave thee this authority? That's it. Where'd you get your authority? Authority only comes from one, and that's God. Don't forget it. Only one. God gives authority. And Jesus said to them, I'll also will ask you one thing. Which of you tell me I and likewise will tell you about what authority I do these things. The baptism of John, whence was it, of heaven or of men? Now, I see, Jesus asked double-sorted double questions. You see, they were in the corner because if they said it was of God, you know, they had to say that. But then if they said it was a man, He's in the middle. It's, it's a double sword question, you know. Uh, and they reason with themselves, saying, If we shall say from heaven, he will say unto us, Why did you not then believe him? See? He had him up against, he had him nailed to the wall. But if we shall say of men, we fear the people, for all hold John as a prophet. The answer Jesus has said, we can't tell. You see, when you're not when you're not a God's man, you're not a God's woman, you can't answer truthfully, because why? You're afraid. There ain't no fear in God. And the way you can be right is learn your Bible and study it. You got nothing to fear. All I gotta answer is with authority of the Word of God. The Word of God, authoritative. Neither tell I ye by what authority I do these things. But what think ye? A certain man had two sons. And he came to the first and said, Son, go work today in my vineyard. Daddy owned a grape vineyard. He answered and said, I will, I will not. But afterwards he repented and went. So he done the right thing, didn't he? He repented and went. He rebelled, he said no, he repented, said yes, he went to work. And he came to second, said likewise, and he answered and said, I, I go, sir, and went not. 
dirty, stinking, filthy liar. Lying to his daddy. Whether, whether of them twain did the will of his father. They say unto him, the first. Jesus said, to him, Verily I say unto you, that the publicans, now this is it, this is what I sent out today. This is my people. This is you folks. Now, I don't say that disparagingly, but this is my people. This is you. This is me. <laughs> Verily I say unto you, that the publicans and the harlots go into the kingdom of God before you. He said, the women out on Ridgewood turning tricks, she going to heaven before you are, religious leader. <laughs> See, religious leaders, what are they? They're self-righteous. Woman out on the street turning tricks, she ain't self-righteous. She knows she's wrong. All she need to do is repent. Amen? Amen. Yeah. Publicans and the harlots go in the kitchen. Uh, Publicans. I didn't say Republicans. They ain't no good either. <laughs> I said Publicans. You know what a publican is? Tax collector. Crooked tax collector. For John came unto you in the way of righteousness. And he believed him not. But the publicans and the harlots. You see, Jesus... Jesus talk about people, about who they are and what they are. You see what I'm saying? You see, you, you ought to use that kind of language, a whore. Well, if Jesus used it, I guess I can, huh? Because right. again, but the publicans and the harlots believed him. And when they had seen it, repented, not afterward, that ye might believe him. Hear another parable. There was a certain householder which planted a vineyard and hedged it round about and digged a wine press in it, built a tower, and let it out to husbandmen and went into a far country. He hired out the land. And when the time for the fruit drew near, he sent his servants to the husbandmen. That's the one taking care of. Um, Joanne knows what that is. Someone take care of the garden. And they might receive the fruits of it. And the husband then took his servants and beat one and killed another. Boy, that one, <laughs> not, that wasn't a good person, was it? No. And stoned another. Uh-oh. Again, he sent other servants, more than the first, and they did also the same likewise. But last of all, he sent unto them his son. Now, who is his son a picture of? Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord Jesus Christ. Saying, they will reverence my son. That's what God the Father, he sent the son down here. But you know, most people won't reverence the Lord Jesus Christ. They reverence and follow Lucifer and his demons. But when the husbandmen saw the son, they said among themselves, this is the heir. Come, let us kill him, which they did, didn't they? They killed Lord Jesus Christ, didn't they? And let us seize on his inheritance. No, you can't. you killing Jesus. You ain't going to seize on nothing but the fires of hell. And they caught him and cast him out of the vineyard and slew him. Slew the Savior. You know who slew him? Nasty, wicked Jews. That's who slew him. How dare you say that? The Bible says that. It ain't me. I'm just telling you what the Bible said. When the Lord, therefore, of the vineyard cometh, what will he do unto these husbandmen? They say unto him, he will, he will miserably destroy these wicked men. Anybody deny the Lord? And now I'm going to tell you what. If you deny the Lord and won't trust them, you're just as bad as the Jews that killed them. You deny him, you've crucified him. You've denied the Son of God, the Savior of the world. Destroy these wicked men and will let out his vineyard unto another husbandman, to the Gentiles. Jews rejected Christ. 
Gentiles received him. Which shall render him the fruits of their seasons. Jesus said to them, did you never read in the scriptures? You see, Jesus, you know what I always quoted? The scriptures. Remember when he was baptized and started his public ministry? What did he quote the devil with when he was tempted? The scriptures, amen? Scriptures. Shame on you for not knowing the scriptures. Shame on you for not reading it every day. Shame on you, shame on you, shame on me. We don't read the scripture enough. God help us. Did you never read the scriptures? The stone which the builders rejected. Now, who's the stone that the builders rejected? That's Jesus Christ and the Jews rejected him. That's what that's saying right there. The same has become the head of the corner, the chief cornerstone. That's the Lord Jesus Christ. This is the Lord's doing, and it was marvelous in our eyes. Marvelous, amen. Therefore, say I unto you, the kingdom of God shall be taken from you, from the Jews, who it was brought to. Jesus was a Jew. Salvation came through the Jews, but they rejected him. And given to a nation, bringing forth the fruits thereof, Gentiles. And whosoever shall fall on the stone shall be broken. But on whomsoever it shall fall, it will grind him to powder. What's it mean to grind you to powder? Send you to hell. Grind you to powder. Send you to hell. And when the chief priests and Pharisees had heard the, his parables, they perceived that he speak of them. You see, when the Lord Jesus Christ tells you who the wicked Pharisees are, they get mad. Who's going to heaven? Publicans and whores. Because they repent. Who's going to hell? Pharisees look down upon every. A lot of people. They won't, come to, they won't come to our church. You know why? Because we got sinners and whores come in here. No. No, that's their problem. Let them go with all them Pharisees and go on to hell. Go on to hell, all you religious Pharisees. They proceed to speak of him. But when they sought to lay hands on him, they feared the multitude. Because... They took him for a prophet. Jesus, wonderful Savior. How many of you know, know Jesus? Since Jesus came into my heart. Amen. Since Jesus came into my heart. Floods of joy or my soul like a sea. Billows roll since Jesus came into. Did he come into your heart? April 4th, 19. How many of you know you're saved for sure? You need to get saved if you don't. Since Jesus. Pharisees, religious people going to hell. Publicans and whores going to heaven. I don't want to hear you say that word horror again. Jesus said it. Honest. We're all wicked. How many of you admit, I'm a wicked sinner. I ain't no better than nobody. Will you admit that today? Will you admit, will you admit that today, Joe? I admit it. I ain't no better than nobody. But I'm saved. Glory to God, I'm saved by the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. If you're not saved, pray now. Lord, help us. Wonderful Bible. The, Jesus said always, thus saith the Scripture. Thus saith the Scripture. English language, King James Bible. Forever settled in heaven. You better get you one. You ain't going to get saved without a King James Bible. You're going to go to hell. Save that sinner nearest hell. Pray the prayer. You know you're lost. You know you're lost. Dear Lord Jesus, I believe you died for my sins and shed your precious blood on Calvary's cross, rose from the grave the third day. 
The best I know how with an honest heart. I'll turn from my sins, receive you as my Savior. Thank you for saving me right now. Amen. 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 Glory to God.